let's play some tarot around here, Gemini style. Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you, my friend. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time and your view. You know I do. You know I do. Thanks for hitting that subscription button. Why are you thinking about it? That like button one more time, Jimmy. Thing. Appreciate it so very much. I always want to take a moment of gratitude and thank all my Geminis that have ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form. Is that you? Thank you so very much, Gemini. I appreciate it all, large or small. Uh, as we go into January 2024, I am celebrating six years on YouTube, my friends. And I'm going to give away, I'm going to have a big giveaway on, on the 31st of this month, which is a Tuesday night, January. Uh, a, a drawing, a drawing for a FaceTime read with old Ramblin' Mike from wherever you live in this big, beautiful world. I'm going to be giving away a free FaceTime reading, at least an hour long. Generally, those go an hour and a half. You know, we just chat and have fun. If you would like to enter, if you would like me to put your name in that old barrel right there, just leave me a comment. Just leave me a comment on any of my videos. And, uh, I will definitely put your name in the barrel. I'll send you back a little response, a little pink ticket. Let you know that I actually read your comment and that I put it in the barrel right there. Best of luck to all that enter. Gemini, I'm going to be playing some relationship spreads with you here as we go into a new year. Playing uh, freestyle with my fave, my Terra Luminate. I got... Uh, uh, the Gilded Tarot, another of my faves right there. And a couple of Major Arcanas to top off your freestyle read right here. Um, I'm going to be throwing a couple of Healing with the Fairies on top of it. See what they have to say. All that being said, Gemini, relationships, friends. They can talk about home, work, family, the kids, the neighbors. But you know me, I'm looking for a love story. But you may get another story out of it. All that being said... Gemini, Gemini, let's cut this deck, play a little tarot. Here we go. Here we go, Jimmy Jim. Here we go. Oh, an emperor just showed up. Damn. Damn. Oh, that's all divine masculine energy right there. Hmm. I, I call that card right, seated in your power. It could be Gemini seated in your power. Oh, although this is more of a Gemini card right here. Look at this. You got your eye on somebody? You know that old emperor can be male or female. I don't, I don't see gender in the tarot. This is definitely like a Gemini card. It's like, you know, because, because my, 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 my princess of swords she stands up on top of the castle, right? The swords castle. She's got her binoculars on. She's always looking for something fun, something exciting to do in life. That's going to indicate you got your eye on somebody new. Oh, I like the emperor. You know, it's a four. It's stable. You know, a lot of maturity here. Um, you know, a lot of uh, financial security can be connected with the emperor as well. Hey. Hey, let's see what's going on around here. You got your eye on somebody new? Oh, you may, man. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of whole bunch of communication cards that came out here. Wow. Wow. A page of wands and a page of pinnacles. Oh, if you're not talking to whoever that emperor is right there, you may be talking to him soon, very soon. These are three communication cards. Passionate communication it's touchable, tangible, maybe a coffee date right here. And then, uh, you know, I already talked about my Princess of Swords. She's always looking for something exciting and fun. Okay. Could be new, new, new with all these pages right here. Ooh, let's go, Gemini. Let's see if we got a new love story right here for Jimmy Jim. Jimmy Jim. Very exciting. Let's go. Let's go. Give me a card right here, Jim. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's the dream right there, right? That's ten cups. 
Ten Cups. That's a happy ever after. <laughs> wow. Three Cups is after that. That's about happiness and joy and bliss, and it can be about meeting somebody new. Now stop me right here. Is this ten pins right there? That's where that emperor would live. <laughs> hey, it looks like you know, the Gemini I'm reading for could be happy <laughs> soon and very soon. Ooh, well, we got a we got a dream. Could be becoming touchable and tangible, right? Three cups can talk about parties and social events. So hey, if you're invited to a social event, I would go. There we go. You might run into an old emperor over there. Give me a card right here. These are beautiful. I see your dream on my table right here. Gemini. Oh, <laughs> hey, um, this is a card about maybe letting the past be in the past and be moving in a new direction. That's six swords, right? Uh, that's a card about letting the past be in the past and probably moving in a new direction. I see new energy all over on here. Happy New Year, Gemini. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Let's get in the boat. At least says you're thinking about it right here. You put your order in with source about what you want. That's all very positive. Gemini. 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 Wow, justice came out. Wow, Six of Swords to Justice. And this is definitely maybe about letting the past go. You know, haunting memories of the past. Justice can drop that sword on that situation, bring karmic balance in here. We already got Ten Cups and Ten Pentacles and, and the Happy Happy Joy Joy card, Three Cups. Wow, you got Justice coming in here in your... And your love thread, darling. Oh, and I got a face card. I got a face card. <clears throat> it's the king of love. Um, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. On a high note, this is a very uh, emotionally balanced individual. Oh, I've got it going on, man. You pulled a king right there, man. King of love. King of love. And there's Gemini's magician right there. Uh, my deliberate creator. Yeah, throwing all that trash out the back door. Throwing all that trash out the back door. New aces showed up in your spread. Again, this is the number one card. It's, it's like a new energy right here. And uh, this is my deliberate creator, right? It's about pure positive thoughts and pure positive words. Um, about your future. I see that right there. Ten cups is on the board. The ten pens is on the board. You just being happy. You may be, you may, you may be letting a situation go. I don't know if it's all up in your mind or if you're playing it out on the 3D. But it looks like you're heading towards love right here. Definitely looks like you're heading towards love. So let's get another tarot deck out right here. Very, very powerful spread. Huh? I got a looky-loo first, and then I got uh, passionate communication and maybe a coffee date to begin with right here and letting the past go, letting the past go. So, who are you thinking about right here with all these pages looking at an emperor with your spread? Let's see what they're thinking and feeling about you. This emperor that showed up in Gemini spread, what might they be thinking and feeling about Jim and Jim. Oh. Page. Oh, this makes all four of them right here. Oh, uh, you got a royal flush of pages right here, man. Um, that's a page of cups. Communication, sweet, crushy crush, energy right there. Very nice, man. Very nice. Give me something about that old emperor, the one that's all these pages. A lot of, lot of talking. Definitely a lot of talking, huh? Looks like, looks like they're already sweet on you. What are they thinking and feeling about Gemini? Oh, damn. Omni, omni, omni. Oh, Lord. Oh, big Taurus hair patch showed up. No wonder 10 pins is here. 
No wonder Ten Pins is here. Gemini, happy new year to you. Happy new year, my Jimmy Gems, man. Uh, what's this old emperor thinking about? Crushy Crush and hair fan. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> Uh, give, give me one, give me one, give me one, Gemini, Gemini. Um, cancer change. Oh, wow. I wonder what justice is about right there. Now that I pulled that. Um, well, that I'll just call that the dance of change right now. Huh? <laughs> they may, they may, they may be leaving a shipwreck behind on their own right there. Look like a shipwreck over there. A shipwreck over there. Oh yeah, look, eight cops came out on them right there. Oh, they may be, they may be uh, letting a, uh, a shipwreck go themselves, right? Going up to the mountaintop, spending some time with Soros. I'm a high priestess. Look at that, man. I love that high priestess, you know. Um, it could be a secret. <laughs> could be a secret that the, they may be firing somebody. They may be firing somebody. But, uh, you know, that's a Gemini card right there for me. Um, it's the knight, the knight of uh, swords, right? That's my dragon slayer. Yeah, that's my dragon slayer right there. Um, oh, and there's the queen of love. Is the king and the queen of love here? Wow, that's a pretty powerful, pretty powerful soulmate connection showing up around here. But they may have a secret over there. You know, they may have a secret over there, and that secret is that they're, they're leaving a shipwreck behind. You may be too. You may be too. We all live on Earth around here, so um, definitely see. You know, that that knight of swords coming in there for the queen of love. That's definitely. Very nice, Gemini. Feels new, feels exciting, feels fresh. Three cups again. It's, it's exciting. Oh, three cups and two cups. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Maybe both of you two are leaving five cups behind. Well, Happy New Year if this is resonating around here. Give me a couple cards for Gemini. What's been going on with Gemini and their love life? Looks like your new friend pretty excited about what's going on around here. Show me a couple cards for Gemini right here. What's been going on in Gemini's world for a minute? Inquiring minds want to know, Gemini. Here we go. Here we go. Gemini. Oh, who's that? There's a King of Wands right there. King of Wands. I mean, you know, that's the old King of Passion, right? Oh, Hangman. No, no, no. Hangman's about getting a new perspective and Maybe getting out of a hangman's tree. Yeah, taking a break. Oh, damn it, there's your devil. There's your devil. There's your devil, taking a break, taking a break. You know, that's toxic energy right there. That's a toxic energy, taking a break. Looking for love. Looking to be happy. Looking for a four of wands energy right here. Yeah, you. This is the magician again. It could indicate that this is what you're ha this is what you're manifesting right here. You know, that's the biggest part, right? Is the release, the release, a solid release of a situation from the mind. This is the release of the mind right there. This is the release of the mind, healing, spending time with source. So you may have already come out of Hangman Tree with whoever that king is right there. It's King of Fire, Aerial Sagittarius. Says you're manifesting uh, four wands, four wands and nine cups. But you may be in the process of healing yourself and loving on yourself at this particular point in time. Beautiful energy coming in here for you from what I see in your tarot spread, Gemini. Oh, there's my old divine timing card. Yeah, there's a new path. There's a new path. That's two wands. There's a new path. <laughs> wow, and this is a nice energy right here. Um, This could be the one right here. Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be the one that, uh, you know, goes all the way. That's a solid energy right there. Solid energy, Gemini. 
really, really exciting. I hope you have met somebody new. I hope they, you know, are I... You know, we got a king and queen of love here. Letting that old, letting that old devil, letting that old devil go. Letting that old devil energy go right there. It's beautiful, man. Let's see, four wands, nine cups. Says you're manifesting that. Pure positive thoughts and pure positive words. Huh? Over you, your future. Give me a major. Oh, yeah. Yeah, big old, big old death card came out here about death and rebirth and major transformation. That's a Scorpio card right there. Give me one more, one more huge transformation in Gemini's love lives right here on my board. Yeah, you. The third time the magician has came out. Huh? The third time. The third time. As above, so below. King and Queen of Love showed up here. As above, so below. All three decks had you. This is a Gemini card for me. It's a Mercury card. can be about new communication. Um, as above, so below. Pure positive thoughts, pure positive words. Wow. Told you, man, these cards indicate that this next uh, journey could be uh, long term. Anyway, let's pull you a couple healing from the fairies right here and say what they have to say, Jimmy Jam. Nice energy right here for you. Happy New Year. Happy New You. Let's go, Gemini. 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 Inner child. Well, that, you know, that's four swords. That's getting down in there, cutting out all those negative core beliefs that keep attracting this kind of energy. Says you says you're doing that right now. You're doing the inner work right now, being the magician. Doing, doing a, doing a, oh, oh, what is this right here? Yeah, looking inside yourself. That's a beautiful energy because once we cut this kind of core beliefs out of us, bam, <laughs> bam, inner child, looking inside yourself. Oh, this is a nice card for you. Financial flow. Oh, yeah, the money tree was here. Wow, breakthrough in your finances as well. That detoxification. Detoxing right here from that old energy right there. Higher consciousness. Look at you, man. Wow, my Gemini babies. Higher consciousness, inner child, looking inside yourself. Financial flow. Detoxification. And awakening to your true self. Oh, wow. Gemini. <laughs> Doing the work. Of course you're going to attract something amazing, my friend. As you're throwing all the crap out. You're throwing all the crap out the back door. Gemini. You've been stuck around to this part of the read. Thanks for your view, my friend. Appreciate you. If you're new around here. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that old subscription button for me, Jimmy Jim. Ring my bell. Hit that old I like mic button if you would. Appreciate that so very much. I do got some videos around if you'd like to stick around, play a little bit of tarot with me. Check them out if you would like. I will post some cards here for you in a few short days. I'm really looking forward to see where this goes because this says to me you've... Uh, had a consciousness expansion. Beautiful. I love you, Jim. Talk to you soon. Love and light.